All right, here we go. This is what we're doing, man. We're going to race. Let's go see who can change the props the fastest. All right, ready? Ready? Huh? Huh? One, two, three, go. Oh. All right, I hate to really admit this, but I gotta admit it because it really drives home a point. In my professional career as an FPV pilot, easily the most embarrassing thing that I have probably ever done is hand over my quad to somebody and be like, could you take off this prop nut for me? <laughs> it's a super weak sauce thing, guys, because it, uh, to me, that's a whole lot like going into a bar, getting a beer bottle, and not being able to pop off that, that beer cap. Like, I just feel like, you know, you don't get that right of a passage of a man, man passage. And that's how I feel like, folks, when I can't take my prop nut off my FPV quad and I'm supposed to be this big old, you know, I mean, not big old dude, but you know, just a dude in this industry. Anyways, welcome to First Look, everybody. Lumineer, coming in hot, bringing some innovation to the game. Now, before I get into this product right here, let's just talk about Lumineer's history in motors. Now they first came out with the MX series and the focus there really was on having a nice performing but very incredibly smooth motor and they definitely delivered on that. And then they brought the Popo mechanism which is really supposed to change the way you change props on a motor. Today I introduce to you Popo Pro. The whole point of this is to really change that experience of changing props. Now who is this for? Well, maybe you're a racer, right? Racers, you just need to get around the track fast. You need to change your props fast. Time is money. Maybe you're in the freestyle. You want to get in, you want to get out. No fuss. Just hurry up and go. Introducing the Lumineer Zip Series of Motors packing that Popo Pro system. If you look real closely, the first thing you're going to notice, what you're going to notice is that shaft no longer has threads on it. And why? It's because Lumineer has doubled down on their Popo system, basically saying, look, this is the way to do it. And I'm gonna have to agree, so check this out. It's also got a lower shaft, so it's a lot shorter than what you're used to seeing on a standard motor. And the biggest thing is the Popo button is now recessed, whereas the previous version, it stuck up a little. And I know there's a couple of concerns with it sticking out. Lumineer was listening, and here you go, version 2.0, version Pro, no longer has a button protruding from the shaft. That is the Lumineer Popo Pro system, making the motor that much better, but they didn't stop there because the motor itself is also something worth talking about. Now this particular motor is a 2407 1700 kV, also available in a 2250 kV and a 2550 kV for all of you high kV folks. But this one right here only weighs 36 grams with all of the wires that you see here. If you look at the bottom, it's got that naked style going on. You've got the 16 by 16 bolt pattern to get some additional weight savings. You've got a set screw instead of that E-clip, C-clip. Phenomenal because those are known to break in a very hard crash. Plus, just having that set screw just makes it that much easier when you need to service the motor. Maybe you gotta change the bearing, maybe you need to change the bell. Either way, set screw, take it off, put it back on, and you're good to go. If you take a look, it's got some really nice windings on the stator. And before you, I know, I know, because I've been reading in the comments, and you guys are always like, Tommy don't know how to pronounce stator right because stator is supposed to be pronounced stator stator tomato tomato stator stator all right fun fact stator is actually short for two words stationary rotor and because of that because stationary rotor you're supposed to say stator Oh my gosh. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's jump back in to the actual Popo Pro mechanism itself. You do need to have a prop that is Popo compatible. Now the good news is that most of the manufacturers, all the big manufacturers, HQ, Gemfan, Azure, all of these prop manufacturers have adopted the Popo mechanism and their props, so long as it says Popo compatible on the bag itself, 
will work with all Popo compatible motors. Now take a quick look at this prop just so that you can see what it looks like. So you've got these three indentations on the hub of that motor. Now if you take a look here, if you look at that shaft, you've got three ball bearings there. And what happens is you take a tool, maybe something like this. So this is a SIM card ejection tool. Chances are if you're an FPV dude, you probably got something sharp in your backpack. Maybe it's a 1.5 mil hex driver. All of those things will work. And all you gotta do is use this to push this button in. And once that is in, it allows the ball bearings to fall inside of the shaft. Then you can slide the prop on, let go. The thing pops back up because it's spring loaded and wait for it. This isn't the best part, right? You're just gonna push down a little bit and give it a little bit of a twist until you hear this really satisfying click. And that's it. Once you hear that click folks, you are good to go. Now here's the thing that I want to point out. So on the Popo Pro version, again, I mentioned that the shaft is a lot shorter. Here's why it matters. It is actually lower than the prop itself. Now, not every prop is going to be this way, but some props are. And the benefit of this is watch. If you were to happen to land upside down, I don't know about you, but that ain't going to touch, which is really important because I know a lot of people are wondering, well, what about the durability? Well, four millimeters the whole way down whereas other motors are three millimeters. That one little extra millimeter goes a long way to making things robust and durable. Some of you might be wondering, I've got this little rubber gasket down there and that comes with all Popo Pro motors and really what that is just there for is to ensure that most props are compatible and that's because the thickness between manufacturers varies and what this rubber washer does just allows you to make sure you've got a nice snug Bit. As I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the magnets and one thing that I want to point out is that this uses N52SH magnets. Now I know what you're wondering. That's great. I've heard of N52 before, but what's this SH? The SH designates a higher heat tolerance. So if it doesn't have the SH at the end of that N52 magnet, it just means that you've got a lower heat tolerance. And if you're like me playing with some higher KV or maybe even some higher voltage stuff, this is 1700 KV, it can handle the heat better. And if it can handle the heat better, you're not wasting a lot of energy. If you're not wasting a lot of energy, more of that power is going back into your system. So we've talked about the motor. We've talked about the Popo Pro system. Why do you care? For me personally, I know that one of the biggest things in this hobby is safety. And I, you know, sometimes I'm kind of a lazy dude. Sometimes I plug my quad in, you know, to the laptop and I leave my props on. <laughs> Maybe you're like me and you travel a lot. I'm that guy walking through TSA, I'll hear a lady scream because like I accidentally shanked her with my prop. But now there's no excuse, fellas. It only takes a couple of seconds to pop your props off. This is definitely going to up the whole prop changing experience to a whole new level. Lumineer actually does two checks for vibration. So they do a vibration check and dynamic balancing in the very beginning, and they do one at the very and on not just the x-axis, right? So that's over here, but also the y-axis. You get a set of Lumineer motors, you can be rest assured that any vibration that you've got isn't coming from the motors if you've got a fresh set out of the box. Here's another thing that I really like about Lumineer. The Popo Pro system is not just limited to Lumineer motors. It could be, it would have been very easy for a big manufacturer like that to just hold it to themselves. But instead, they're looking out for the community. They're trying to grow the community. They're just trying to make this hobby that we love called FPV, flying mini quads, doing freestyle and racing. They just want to help the whole thing. And so they have actually pushed this whole Popo Pro system to something that is available industry-wide, which means not just Lumineer, you know, there are other brands out there that have incorporated the Popo Pro system, and I think that's super awesome. All right, folks, that is the Lumineer Zip line of motors introducing the Popo Pro system. It is available now, so go check it out at your favorite retailer. Now, before we get to the end of this episode, it's not the end of a first look episode without a giveaway. We're gonna give away one set. Nope, you know what? Let's give away two sets because Lumineer Zipline is coming in in a 2407 and they're also gonna come in a 2207. And just really quick, just so I could spit that out because maybe you're a 2207 kind of guy. It's gonna come in a 1750 KV, the 2450 KV, and for you high KV folks, a whopping 2750 KV. Now that 2207 is gonna come in at 31 grams. This 2407 right here is 36 grams in all of its glory. And if you guys wanna win one, here's what you gotta do. Drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about the Popo Pro system. Maybe you wanna share a story about cutting up your hand because I know I've cut up my hand plenty of times. Those props can be sharp, man. Anyways, my name is Tommy. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know too if there's any other thing that you wanna see here on First Look. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next one.
you know, the close-ups of me, I'm like super struggling. And then, uh, you know, so Ryan will have the second cam you know, close in on my face. I'm struggling. Down in the quad, I'm struggling. And Bob's your monkey. And then Bob's your monkey. <laughs> okay. 